Hi everybody, it's Phil here from Sheldon Bosley Night. Good morning to everyone. I hope we're all okay. Uh, property tour for you. Um, we're on Windermere Avenue today on St Nicholas Park. The sun's out. It's absolutely beautiful as you can see. The sky is absolutely stunning. And we've got a, um, unusual, we've got a um, semi-detached bungalow, lovely corner plot here. Uh, property's empty, I've got the keys, it's a little bit blustery out there, so quick tour here, and then we'll show you what we've got, and we'll dive inside and go and have a tour through. So the breeze hasn't gone, unfortunately, but I'll give you an idea of where we are. So we're right on the corner of Windermere, and there's a little cul-de-sac that heads up that direction just there. Dead end, doesn't go anywhere. So it is this lovely corner plot. It's laid mainly to lawn, as you can see that's there. It's quite beautiful. Uh, you've got a block paved driveway just there. You've got the row of shops just over the road, and obviously there is the medical centre just nearby there. So it's a great spot, a couple of car driveway, no reason why you can't extend this and do a little bit extra on that one. And we'll just work our way through and round. The porch has obviously been extended, as you can see. So the bungalow goes all the way around here, all through there, and that's where we're positioned now. So let's get in, let's go and have a look. There we go. So it's a little bit blustery in here. That's quite comical. <laughs> yeah. So you've got this porch, this has been added on. Really handy that you're not straight into what in theory would have been the hallway. So that's somewhere where you can obviously take your shoes off, etc, etc. And then it brings you then into the hall itself. Off the hall is all of the rooms. This one, it's a bit larger than the normal bungalow. You've got three bedrooms. One of the rooms obviously could be used as a dining room if desired. And then you've also then got the shower room, the lounge and the kitchen. The kitchen has also been extended, which I'll show you a little bit more of just there. So as you can see, the bungalow is pretty much empty. A few little bits of furniture in here right now, but obviously that will all be cleared. So it has gas central heating. It has UPVC double glazing. There's an inset fire in there. That's a gas, living flame gas fire. You've got sun coming through obviously that way just check and see which way we're pointing right so um southerly is that way so rises to the left as you look sets to the right suddenly is that direction so it's no wonder the sun is glaring through um we'll do the living rooms first you threw then into the kitchen here good size kitchen You've got some storage in there as well as you can see Tall larder cabinets here, built-in oven hob. There's plumbing in for a dishwasher, plumbing in for the washing machine. It has been refitted. And then it opens up then into a conservatory style add-on, uh, part UPVC, double glazed roofing, and obviously big picture windows just there with the views over the garden. The kitchen extends into it a little bit. There's a cabinet and a wall unit, the space in for the fridge freezer. Very bright in here, as you can see tiled floor, all the radiators I think have all been replaced. So you've got three bedrooms. Um, I nearly went in the wrong room there. Um, th this room is actually a little bit bigger than the, the, the other one, which is back to the side or front of the side, front of the bungalow. That's there, that's got a big six door wardrobe in. Nice size, a lot of furniture in here. The second bedroom, or well, you might want to use this as the main one. It's another big room, very good size, it's a deceptive five door wardrobe in there. And then the third one, and um, what we see on these properties quite often, these get used as a, as a dining room or a study or an office or sort of an occasional room. So that's in here, you can see the sun glaring through just on there. And then that just leaves then the shower room. Shower room is in here. You've got the shower cubicle, the shower's been replaced. You've got inset lighting in there and the loft hatch is on there, tiled floor as well. So let's work our way through and we'll head out into the garden as well. Let's say established garden. I think it's obviously been the pride and joy over the years. Look at the colours, absolutely beautiful. You've got various raised flower beds and so on. You can see that the fascias 
have all been done with the UPVC and also the underneath, so the soffits as well. And you've got a decent sized timber shed just there. And then there's also the access into the side of the garage just there as well and a timber gate to the driveway that's at the front. So that's the extent of the bungalow. And then with a little bit of space just down there. So I'm gonna turn the camera around. Let's tell you a little bit more. There we go. I'm not sure where to stand on here because literally everywhere we go, we've got sun literally drapesing down all over us. So there's the bungalow anyway, just behind me as you can see just there. Thanks for watching. Um, number nine, Windermere. Uh, just going to go to the market in the next sort of 24, 48 hours or so. We're going to get this video launched. The photography's already been done, the floor plan. So we'll get everything prepared and done. Certainly if you want to come and have a look, we've got the keys, it's empty. So we look forward to being able to show you around and get you through the door on this one nice and quickly. The price, it's going to go onto the market at £300,000. It is a great spot here. St Nicholas Park always has been very, very popular. You've got a mix of um, clients just further up into the cul-de-sac, but that's typically all bungalows just up there. And then obviously heading on to St Nicholas Park this way on the rain row of shops. We've got a few shops there, which is really handy. It is a three bedroom bungalow, so maybe you've got a family, you've got schools nearby. Uh, High and Lane, obviously the main school, Milby and Pallet schools just up the way as well road links obviously this side of town are absolutely fantastic and you're just a short uh, distance walk into the town center you've got a uh, bus stop just up the road as well so that's all very very good there's no chain on this one unfortunately we're selling situation sort of dictates that the property has to be sold so there's no one with chain now the legal side of things is making progress on there so that's going through as we speak so shouldn't really be any delays on that side now so certainly worth coming to have a look at as i say got the keys give us a call through just drop them uh, we've got the keys so give us a call let's get you booked in and uh, look forward to showing you around and thanks for watching take care for now bye bye